Pete, we're joined now by former Premier of New South Wales, Mike Baird. Thank you for your time. What's your feeling on the ground? Can the Liberals hold on? Well, it's undoubtedly going to be <clears throat> very tough, very tough battle um, across the state. But, um, you know, I'm always hopeful. And, uh, you know, what I love about today is it's over to the community, over to the state. Let the people have their say. What makes it so tough here? Uh, well, this is a, an electorate that really cares about its vote. They pay, I mean, every, every electorate does, but there's a real focus here on what are the policies, who are the people, what have they done, and um, you've, you've got to earn the vote. And certainly, James Griffin uh, is a terrific young man. He's done incredible things for the electorate, uh, very passionate for his community, and um, he's got a huge future. So my hope is that he gets returned. Seeing as we saw Zali Stegel re retain the seat of Warringah at the 2022 federal election, is that an indication as to where votes might be going today? It's just an indication it'll be really tough. And um, I, you know, what, I, what I love about the, the Teal movement is you, you really are reminded, all parties, that you can't take any votes for granted. And uh, it really should be about the community and representing them. What, what do they need? What do they want? And there's a whole range of things here, transport and health care that are important, uh, climate change. James is represented on those issues and um, I think he's got a good chance. Mike Baird, thank you so much for your time. Pleasure. Pete, we just heard it is going to be tough for the Liberals and it's not just here in Manly, it's right along the northern beaches, so also, also in Wakehurst and Pittwater, Pete. Yeah, and a uh, good point there, Refederally. Appreciate that, Gabriella, thank you.